All right, this is Firemind here, and today we are going to see how we can create this kind of hit effect so that your screen turns red and it fades out after some time. And that, of course, happens when we hit this cube right here. You can, of course, then add this to your game in a way that you have this red screen appear when you get hit by a bullet or by an enemy or whatever. Just to keep it very easy, I use this cube here. So, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and good luck. Okay, so I have my scene here and um, I can walk around. So now I want to add a obstacle that if I bump into it, I want to get a red flashing screen kind of thing. So the first thing you want to do for this, if you don't have a canvas yet, create one. So go right click UI and then go down to canvas if you don't have that yet. Then once you have that canvas in there, what you want to do is you want to right click and then UI and then add a image. Then switch over to 2D mode by clicking this button up here. Then zoom out and you can see the whole canvas here. And you want to go ahead and scale the whole thing so it overlays of, uh, over the whole ca canvas. There you have it. Now you want to set the source image of your image to some red texture. Now you can use any image for that. I imported one here so you can just download a red tile kind of thing like I did from Google and then drag it into your assets folder. Uh, once you have imported it, you want to click it and make sure that it's set to Sprite 2D and UI before you import it uh, or uh, after you import it. And that way you can actually use it on as a image here. So now if you click on that image, what you want to do is you want to set the color and you want to set the alpha channel to zero. So it is not showing. That's how you want it. You only want to show to show it if you get hit by something. All right, next up, let's go back to our scene. So uncheck the 2D mode to go back, click our controller so we can see that here. Now I wanna uh, make the cube that is actually able to damage us. So I'm gonna make this cube, make it a little bit bigger, move it down. All right, now I also wanna give this a tag so I can reference later on. I'm gonna use the tag cube if you don't have that yet, just go add tag, add a tag here, and then you should be good. So add a cube tag to it. Now you want to go into your player. Um, so this might dif be different for you, depending on how you set up your game. But you essentially are probably going to have some sort of player controller. If not, you can just create the player controller and add the script I'm going to show you in there. So go here, here and create edit script. And then in here, you want to add a couple of functions. So first off, we want to reference the got hit screen. So the image that we just created. And we also want to make a collision function. So we're just going to use the standard collision function. And then in here, we want to check if the object that we collided with is actually the cube. And if that's the case, we're going to call a function called got hurt. Now we don't have that function yet, so let's create it. And in here we want to reference or we want to set the alpha of our image that we just referenced up there to something like 0 0.8. Now with that, we're actually gonna set the color to color, set the alpha channel to 0 0.8, and then as assign the color back to the image. Now, if you go back to the scene, we have to assign the got hit screen here. So let's go drag our image onto the get hit screen. And if you hit play now, you can see that the image is getting red and this is your like being hit kind of color. Now, we do want to reduce the redness after some time, so let's go back to our script. Now, for this, we want to use our update function. 
So in here, we're gonna go, if if there is a got hit screen assigned, now if that got hit screen is assigned and the alpha channel is actually above zero, we want to get the color, basically the same steps we did here, and this time reduce the alpha channel by 0 0.01, and that will stop until it's zero or below that. And that way we will slightly re or slowly reduce the redness after we hit the cube. So let's check it out. And now as you can see, once we hit the cube, it turns red and then fades out. So you can of course set this value a little bit higher if you want this to be kind of quicker. Uh, but this way is a like red overlay once you get hit by an enemy. And that's ultimately one, what we wanted to achieve. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked the tutorial. If so, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below. And if you want to see more tutorials, please subscribe. Also, if you have any other requests for tutorials, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today, it's free.